Hey guys, thanks for joining me. We are going to discuss how to make a purchase on OpenSea. Now, in order to do this, um, this requires having a MetaMask or some type of wallet that you've got connected to OpenSea. And I'm assuming at this point, you've already kind of done that. So let's say you've created your account, you've got a profile, you've connected your, your MetaMask, for example. Now you're like, all right, how do I go about buying on OpenSea? Let's say, for example, you wanted to buy a mini monkey mafia monkey, right? You went to the site, you noticed the minting was already completely sold out. And now they're like, okay, buy on OpenSea. What does that mean? So you go here and then you're like, okay, I see all of these. How does this work? So usually right when you first go to it, it's gonna give you price low to high. And that's in essence where you want to get from. You want to look at, you know, what's the lowest price I can pay for one of these NFTs if I were to get one of them. And what you usually would do is you'd start here and then you'd click on buy now. If you just wanted to get in right now, you're like, I just wanna get one, own it, quickest way possible. You would simply just do something like that. Click buy now, low to high. And then you see what's called the floor, right? See, floor price means what's the lowest price that they're selling for? This one right here, 0 0.0485, about 0 0.05. So that's why floor price is there. So if, let's say I wanted this one. Let's say I'm like, oh man, I like that one. I love that Hawaiian shirt. I want that one. So I click on it. I can see who created it. I can see who currently owns it, how many views, how many favorites. I can see all the metadata stuff. I can see all the, any current offers. I can see uh, any sales transfers, all kinds of fun stuff. And this is where you can kind of really look at how rare it is. What's the properties on this? Uh, there's some other ways to do so, like using the rarity tools. But let's say I'm like, you know what? I just want to own a monkey or I just want to own an NFT. You go to OpenSea and you see this buy now. There's a make offer option which means that you can convert your Ethereum into wrapped Ethereum and just throw an offer on there. If they accept it, you're good to go. Now, the difference between these two, buying it, you pay the gas fee, offer, they pay the gas fee. Kind of the simplest way to put it, uh, but it also is kind of like eBay, buy now or bid, right? Uh, so making offer doesn't necessarily allow you to purchase it, right? It gets, throws an offer and then the seller has to agree to that offer or they can make a counter offer. Um, and then there's auction options where you can actually bid on them and they have a certain date and all that fun stuff. But let's say I'm like, you know what? I want to buy it now. You'll see here, review collection details. It'll give it the confidence score. It'll give it the name, when it was created, how many sales, the creator of it. You review the information and then it goes to the total amount. Shows you the royalties. This means that the creator of this will receive 5% of any sale future from this item. So it's a royalty that goes back to the creator. And then I could just click checkout. Now, if I was to buy this, I would click it and it would open up MetaMask and it would confirm it with the current gas fees. You have a gas fee that, uh, and a transaction fee that you pay that is in essence to the Ethereum network to process the transaction. So everybody in the world can now know that you own this item. And then it'll show right in your profile where you can access and um, bring you right into those. So I don't want to go give you guys my profile. You guys uh, have some fun there checking them out. But in essence, that is the process of how to do it. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. I'd love to uh, help you guys answer those and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.